To help us dig deeper into cloud computing and other big tech trends, we are joined tonight by Sramana Mitra. She's the founder and CEO of One Million by One Million, a global virtual incubator for startups. Now that's the fourth company she's founded in Silicon Valley, and she has also worked as a strategy consultant for over 80 companies, including SAP. Sramana, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, in recent years, we've seen a lot of interest in cloud computing, which, as Mark's piece shows, enables companies to save on infrastructure. Now, give us a sense of how integral cloud computing has become to the IT industry. Well, in one word, I would say entirely integral. The future of the IT industry is the cloud. And uh, who are the big players in the, in, in, in the cloud? I mean, we know that big software companies like SAP and Oracle have bought some cloud-based uh, computers, but are they the big players in this space or are they facing a lot of competition from other companies? They are, but I think the biggest player, the pioneer in the cloud category is still Salesforce.com. And today, uh, the Salesforce stock dropped, but the macro trends and, and what they have done to develop the cloud industry is absolutely monumental. So I, I think in terms of thought leadership, they remain one of the top players in the category. Now, uh, in the IPO market, cloud computing companies have fared particularly well, and the success of Channel Advisors is offering today is another example of that. Why do you think it is that investors have such an appetite for cloud-based companies? There is a very um, subtle but important phenomenon about the cloud business model, which is predictable revenues quarter over quarter. Very few categories and business models offer that kind of predictable revenue models. The cloud category does. So it's basically a recurring revenue business model. The customers sign up for you know, a mon monthly subscription-based uh, contracts, and, and sometimes they're signing multi-year contracts. So the companies have a lot of visibility. So, so clearly huge demand uh, for the cloud, but what is the IT industry doing really with the cloud right now? Well, a variety of different things. I would say everything from finance to um, you know, customer relationship management to drug discovery to, I mean, you, you name it. You know, everything is right now on the cloud. Every part of the IT ecosystem is on the cloud now. And this is obviously about data storage. And the new big buzzword in the tech world is big data. Define for us what big data really means. So, you know, there's been an industry segment in IT called business intelligence. And the crux of the business intelligence industry is that huge amounts of data get processed and to derive information, intelligence, insight, whatever you want to call it, out of gobs of data. Now, since the IT industry has achieved internet scale, the amount of data that is being produced, especially after the advent of social media, the amount of data that is being produced all over the world on a continuous basis has gone up tremendously. You know, on your iPhones, you're constantly generating data. On your iPads, you're constantly generating data. And all that data offers ability to also do that kind of analysis and synthesis, but at a much larger scale, which is why we call it big data. OK, so we know there's a lot of more, more data out there. But is this useful data, or, or is it really garbage? I mean, and, and what are we doing with this data? Or what is the potential for this data? Well, um, the answer is in two parts. At the moment, what we are doing is somewhat successful. But the industry is very excited about the future potential of how much more we can do with it, which is why you see a tremendously active startup um, ecosystem around big data that has emerged in the last couple of years, and it's you know it's getting a lot of investment and a lot of activity. We've even seen uh, a little bit of IPO action. Splunk went public, and uh, so so it's a it's a very active category that both is already delivering value, but also will deliver a lot more value. And, and what is this so-called intelligent data? What is the potential of it? What what kind of things uh, can, can it create industries and how is it changing the world? Well, um, you know, let me give you an example. You're all constantly in front of the computer and in front of your mobile phones and in front of your iPads or tablets, whatever, and oftentimes you're consuming media and you are facing 
you're being served ads. And behind the scenes, there's a server that is making split second, split millisecond decisions on what ads to serve you so that something it would be of interest to you. All that comes from massive amounts of big data processing to derive those decisions. Similarly, if you look at drug discovery, if you look at healthcare IT, if you look at oil and gas, there's all sorts of applications of large-scale uh, data processing of that kind. And using artificial intelligence, advanced AI techniques like machine learning to really turn data into significant intelligence. Very interesting stuff, and I know it's a growing field. There's a shortage of talent, though, so for anybody out there who's been listening, you might want to get the skills. There will definitely be a job for you. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Sramana Mitra. She's the founder and CEO of One Million by One Million.